Hey everybody and welcome back to Cube World. My name's Jammin and we're gonna check out this cave. Cause I like it. I like caves. I'm a big fan of Minecraft. If you've looked at any other videos on my channel, you'll probably know that by now. But the purpose of today's journey is not to be in a cave. But I saw this cave and I just couldn't resist. I had to go in. I had to check it out, see if there's anything good. And hey, a little bit of XP, a little bit of loot. I like it. Where are you, bats? I can't see you. Da -da 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 -da. Yes, that is correct. Next bat, come on, come on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna shoot you with my bow. This is a big cave. In fact, this might be one of the biggest ones I've ever seen in Cube World. I haven't seen all that many, mind you. <laughs> so I'm not exactly the best judge on that just yet. But while we're strolling through our little dark cave, I'm going to talk about what we're doing today. I really want to get a pet. I want to get some armor and stuff, but I really, really, really want to get a pet. And I almost don't even care what kind of pet. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, what's going on? You guys hear that? There's a fight happening somewhere. Maybe I should just stay out of it. Where the heck are we? This is where we came from? Yeah, this is where we came from. I get so lost in these places sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, I really want to get a pet. And as of right now, I have pet food. Pumpkin mash. And if you guys play the game, you know what that's for. That means I can acquire myself a pig. And I can almost guarantee if we go into town, we will find a pig. And then we can have our little piggy companion and we can pig out on food and stuff and go on adventures and be best friends forever and ever and ever or until you know I decide to get a better pet than a pig but for now I think that'll be pretty good pretty good so let's just keep on taking a look through this cave getting lots of iron which is good You'll notice my experience is a little bit higher than when I left off last time. That's because I decided to prepare a little bit. I went around and I gathered a bunch of stuff. So that when we go back to town, we'll be able to actually... No, 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 don't shoot that beetle. I don't want to fight you, beetle. Oh, Mouse just freaked out. Oh, look, gold. There's gold in these hills. Give me the gold. One? One gold? Fine, whatever, I'll take it. Look at this. This thing, this cave just keeps on going. Little twists and turns all over the place. It's great. But yeah, I'm starting to learn how to actually play. When you hear that big dinging sound, look at that. That means I've got an auto-charge special. I don't have to hold down mouse 2 to fully charge my special attack. I can just instantly hit it. And that's what being the scout does. And that is great. Plus, you can boot these guys, get them out of your face, get to relative safety. You can still charge your attack if you want to, and sometimes you have to. But, oh no, oh no. Go away, go away, go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Oh my gosh. Come on, come on, give me that special. No, oh, they're healing. No, 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 no. Go away. Oh, you buggers. Uh, well, that little caving run was not quite a success. But that's okay. We definitely got some materials. I got a lot of iron in there. And there's probably still a lot more. But I can always go back if I, if I decide to risk it. And maybe when I get a bit stronger, I will. But I'm going to head back to town. We're going to try and find us a pet pig and maybe make a little bit of armor today since we've got a whole bunch of materials now. But I will cut right here and we'll see you when we get back to town and we will carry on with this mission. See you in a second. Ooh, spooky tunnel through the mountains leading us to town. This is pretty cool. I like it. It's not so spooky when you got a flashlight on, but hey, whatever. It's still a spooky tunnel going to town. Forget a... You're fighting me for some reason. This is weird. I want you to be my pet, and yet here you are fighting me. Well, let's put that right there and see if that changes anything. Come here, Mr. Bloink. You want to be my friend? 
You want to be my friend. But get that heart nice and big. Yeah, you're my friend. Now, let's change your name. Pet name, Bloink. No, that's not how you do it. Name, pet, Bloink. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> hold, on, hold on one second. Sup, Bloink? You my friend. We gonna party together. We gonna go on adventures together. We gonna fight some bad guys together. Yes, we are. But since we're here in town, me and Bloink, we're gonna go and sell some stuff. Where the heck... What are the districts of this town? I'm still having a hard time figuring my way around here. But if you zoom in nice and close, you can see where everything is. So, trade district is over here. Let's go there. Because we want to make some money, and we want to craft some gear. So let's do that right now. Right now. Right now, we are going to sell some things. And we are going to get rid of them, and we're going to get rid of them good. I don't care about an iron shield or a wooden wand or another wooden wand or another wooden wand I am not a mage so I can't have you I can wear these things not this one yet this is too high of a power level for me right now but I can wear these I am not a warrior I don't need that I am not a rogue I don't need that or that or that what do we got here scratched iron shoulder armor I really don't need to know that at all. Got a bunch of stuff right here that I could potentially sell, but that's okay. We're sitting pretty good with our money situation right now. I don't think I want this crossbow at all. I'm going to sell it. Let's get out of this guy's area, and let's take a look at our armor situation. Because I can go like this, put on my chest piece, and put on my shoulder pads... And I can even switch my weapon to this boomerang and see how that goes. <laughs> oh man, I've never actually used the boomerang before. I imagine it's much the same as the bow. <laughs> That's cool. Look at me, look at me. I got a little armor on. <laughs> so happy looking with this gigantic bow. Oh, the dwarf is the best character. You guys gotta play as a dwarf. It's so funny. Everything is just hilarious because you're so small. My girlfriend would punch me in the head if she heard me saying the stuff because she's a lot shorter than I am in real life. But hey, that's alright. She doesn't need to know. <laughs> but here we are with Bloink. We got ourselves a little bit of armor on. And here's that stupid Alessander guy who I don't like much at all. He's kind of a jerk. Oh yeah, spinning bow attack. <laughs> but we're going to go and craft some items a little bit, I think. And I will show you how right now. Right now. Right now. We are going to craft some things. We are going to use this spinning wheel. And we are going to turn some plant fiber into linen yarn. Go! Go, go for the linen yarn. We gotta get it going on. Oh, we got two there. Sweet. And we're going to come over to this here loom. And we are going to make some worn linen boots for ourselves. But dang Awesome. And now we're going to be an all green, mean, bad fighting machine. Look at that. <laughs> he looks even dwarfier now. Even dwarfier. Buying all the things. Should we buy some bombs? Yeah, let's buy some bombs. Power 68. I can't use that. That's way too advanced for me. Okay. Ooh, a green iron lamp. I'm buying it. Bought it. And we need some glass flasks. Because we have 34 heart flowers. So we need... 34 glass flasks. We're going to make a bunch of potions so that the next time we go into battle, we will be prepared. And we'll have a bunch of food with us as well. Chocolate donut. I don't know who gets the chocolate donut. Neat gold bracelet for a mage, for a rogue. Dusty wood bow. Huh. Flawless. Nope, nope. You guys aren't giving me anything good here, are ya? I just want to upgrade my guy. 
And you're not going to let me do it. Well, fine. I'll buy some bombs. How about that? Where does it show the bombs? Where does it... Where's my bombs? Where are... There they are. I'll get ten bombs. <laughs> ten bombs to blow the world up with. So now one more thing. We just need to find a well. Found it. There it is. At the well. Jumping in the well. Swimming in the well. <laughs> Push C to open your crafting menu. Come on over here to the the formulas and turn all of these flasks into water bottles. Now you gotta be in the water. Or right beside the water or something, I don't know. I just jump in the water and it makes me happy. <laughs> get my feet wet, get my potion making on. And after you have all your water bottles filled up, you take your heart flowers, you jam them down the neck of the bottle, and you turn them all into life potions. But I think that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we are going back to Chad Kroger Mountain, and we are going to teach Nickelback a lesson for ever messing with us. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching me create potions and make armor and, and meet our, our new friend Bloink the Pig. Oh, look at that dangerous knoll. Why don't you go away, you stinking knoll? I'm going to fight you, you knoll. You know that? I'm going to come out here, and me and Bloink, and we're going to mess you up. Let's do that before I say goodbye. Come here, Bloink. It's knoll hunting time. Go for it, Bloink. Kick him in the face. Yes! Teamwork. That's what I am talking about. High five, Bloink. High five. No. High five. High five. High five. Okay, never mind. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My name's Jammin'. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next episode. Bye for now.